Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm kind of just going to be discussing my predictions for the new game called Parenthood by One of Games. And today I am in my Bloxburg house because today I'm just going to be chilling with you guys and like having coffee and stuff and chatting. Um, don't mind all of these uh, coffee cups in my house. I was talking with my friend um, last week and I went AFK for a long while and he kind of just pranked me and put a bunch of coffee cups around my house so we kind of did like a little scavenger hunt but don't mind if i do have one <laughs> But anyways, in today's video, I am going to be discussing what I think is going to be in this game, what it's going to be about. Ever since they shared their Twitter account, I've been following them. And from some other tweets, um, they've been working really hard on the town. I'm looking at their Twitter right now and I can see that they have this like little shipwreck thing that has like seafood. So that's probably going to be a like restaurant or something like that. And also, they they have like really cool looking cars. So I'm gonna share some photos on the screen right here, but oh my gosh, look at this green car right here and like this van. Oh my gosh, look, it's like a little Volkswagen van back there. Okay, so that's a little bit of kind of what the town looks like. It's very cartoony theme based and I really like it. And they recently just announced the name of the game, which is called Parenthood. Now, when you think about it, when you first hear the word parenthood, you probably think like, oh, this game's going to be about being a parent and like adopting and stuff. Well, in the town, there is like a little adoption center, as I can see. And I think that's where people are going to be able to adopt their kids. But I feel like this game is going to be a little bit different from adopt me and adopt me you kind of just adopt like random kids and you take care of them and you get money from that well in this game i feel like you're gonna be able to do that but i feel like it might be like a twist on it kind of like sims in a way and i feel like through this game you might actually be able to watch these kids grow up you know, I, that's kind of what I feel like it's going to be. I know that they're working really hard on this game and I know that they want to try to make this game as different as possible from Adopt Me. And I don't want to say it's like Overlook Bay because Overlook Bay is more like community based. It's more like adopting pets and pretty much that's just what the, the game is about is pets right now. So, um... I don't know exactly if there's going to be pets in Parenthood, but they do have a hotel, they do have a bunch of restaurants and like burger places and even like the seafood restaurant, I think that's pretty creative. I have not seen that yet in Adopt Me, and <laughs> I can't talk. I haven't seen that yet in Adopt Me, nor have I seen it in Overlook Bay. They also have like a little daycare center as well. That's probably where you are going to be able to drop your kids off. And I have a feeling there might be jobs in this game, so you might be able to work because they do have houses in the game and you might actually have to pay your rent, maybe. Um, or if you wanted money to buy like another house. They have a picture of ice cream, so I definitely think that they're gonna have like an ice cream shop. So like just basic like town buildings and stuff, restaurants, a daycare, maybe even a shopping center or a mall might be added. Um, they do have like a little beach map and little islands and stuff that have like little um, sailboats so you might be able to have some fun in the water and go sailing and stuff. I saw that they do have like a car shop. They have a bridge that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco which is pretty cool. Um, they, I'm looking at their tour account right now and their houses look amazing like they're not just like adopt me houses like a box or something but it's it looks like actual like suburban homes actual suburban homes that you can park your car outside in front of the garage or probably in the garage as well so it's going to be kind of like Bloxburg in a way and i kind of like that i kind of like how it has a more realistic touch to this game um looking more into like inside of the houses I'm looking at these pictures right here and they are very modern, very open. This one that I'm looking at specifically might actually just be a penthouse apartment because it looks like it. Um, it might not be inside the actual house. Also, I see they have like avatar editors and stuff so you can dress your avatar up. In Fee Berry's little photo, I can see that there is like berry merch in the 
um, game as well. And I'm pretty excited about that because I love the Berry Marriage outfits. They all like look so pretty together and they just go well together. And also in one of's little video, I can see that there's gonna be like faces and accessories, animations, hats, hairs. I'm looking at this other like spoiler photo. They kind of have it blurred out, but you can tell that it's going to be about bikes. And one of the bikes has a little section in the back where you can pull somebody. So like a little kid's little biking wagon thingy. I don't know the exact name of what it's called, but this is definitely going to be like a role play, like parenting game. And in the logo itself as like a little pacifier, as like a little teddy bear. So I think babies are gonna be involved. I think there's gonna be kid morphs. I think there might be actually teenage morphs. We'll just have to see how this is going to go. They also have like a little cafe section and Roku the builder, real Roku, they mentioned that the town is going to be very cool at night. So we'll see what that is once the game releases but they have this little like outdoor section area where you can like eat your food at the cafe and it looks like it's kind of near the beach. So it looks like there's going to be like a really just great environment, pretty views and stuff like that, like a beach night or something. I, it just looks so cool. So moving on to more of the house builds that I see here. Um, I definitely see more modern houses as well. And this one's so nice. Like it kind of looks like the adopt me modern house, but then in a way it doesn't. Um, I like how it has like the white picket fence outside and I love like the wood detailing on the house and also on the garage doors. This house looks like it's gonna be really big. It looks like it might actually be a three bedroom house, possibly. Um, I still can't get over how cartoony and like gorgeous this photo looks like I love cartoony like stuff Also, there's gonna be fishing in the game and there's like this little boardwalk section and like a little fishing um, Shack I guess you can say that Roku posted on Twitter as well and then recently um, They kind of shared photos of like the furniture and the house and the builds and stuff and just looking at the furniture, you can tell it's a lot more realistic than more of like the cartoony stuff that you see in Adopt Me. And I feel like you might be able to customly put these furnitures like in different places. It might be kind of like Bloxburg in a way. If the, it's like Bloxburg building, I'm gonna be really happy because I love Bloxburg building. I cannot stand Adopt Me building where you have to use hacks in order to like get things in certain places. Like I, I cannot stand that. So those are just kind of like the sneak peeks that they have posted on Twitter. Um, they have not asked me to do this video for them. I just decided to do it because I'm generally so excited for this game and I cannot wait to play it on the day it comes out. So uh, those are kind of just like what my predictions are for this game. It's definitely going to be like parenting and I th I really hope to see like different types of morphs, not just like baby morphs or kid morphs, but like teenage morphs as well. Since this game has to do a lot with parenthood, I feel like teenage kids kind of have like a big part of you know like being in a parent's life if that makes any sense like maybe the teenagers maybe they can go out and get their license maybe they go to high school or something i have not seen like a school building in the map just yet but there might be later on um or like a high school a middle school whatever whatsoever I think that it'd be really cool to add teenagers and, you know, allow the teenagers to be able to work too and also help the parents, like, pay for, like, the housing and stuff. So that might be, like, an idea. Um, but that's pretty much all of my predictions that I have for now. Um, if they release more, like, sneak peeks and more contents, maybe I will do a second predictions video. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my coffee because it's been sitting here for a while, but... Ah, that is such good coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put it over here. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you are excited for the new Parenthood game by one of Games and Feeberry. I know that Feeberry has been helping him um, with his game and also like the amazing developers that come along, like the modelers and stuff, developers. I don't know every single person on the team, but I know that they've been working really hard on this game. So we'll be able to see what this game looks like probably very soon, maybe in the next few months or maybe even in the new years i think it might release next year early next year that's kind of what my predictions are um 
they have been really taking their time on you know just making this game great so that's kind of just what my predictions are for this game if you guys enjoyed please give this video a like also give a thumbs up i want to know what you guys think and what your guys predictions are so leave those down below in the comments but anyways i will see you guys in my next video bye